I'm gonna take a right here at the beginning of the Luce line uh, to make your way down to the North Loop. So as you saw there from the trailhead, you wanna hop on Theodore Worth Parkway, then take a right at the entrance of the paved Luce line bike trail. After a short pedal, the entrance to the North Loop will be on your left. And here we go. Here is the North Loop. So this is one of the bigger loops here at Theo. It's uh, more like a typical cross, you know, cross country loop for the area where a lot of the other ones are small, where you climb up and then you, you scream down for a little bit. Whoo, a lot of cotton down. Wow. A nice little rock garden here. It's my first ride after Moab. Boy, the rocks are slippery here compared to that sandstone at Moab that just grips like tape. A backpack scrubber there. Well, this is new since I last did this. Good way to make use of a fallen tree. This is a fun little optional loop that you can keep repeating actually, which is cool. In case you miss one of the climbs at the end or you don't do all the wooden features, you can keep coming back. for this one. And this one's got tur turns. Okay. Dang it. 
Oh, Jesus. Ooh, dang it. Oh, boy. I just, uh, just can't get that. Right after this turn, that's the tough part right there. And you just can't get any speed. Wow, that is a really tough corner. Next time. It's kind of cool how the cotton's lining the trail for us here today. last part here is fun. Just go in, get your speed. Fun little jump. Woo! And that's it. That is the North Loop. So when you finish the North Loop, take the Luce line back to Theodore Worth Parkway and turn right. After crossing over the railroad tracks, follow this trail that veers off to the right and you'll soon come across the entrance to the south loop. Very small loop. Uh, but it's right in line with all the others. So then right here you can go left and get out, go to the other trails, or you can just loop it and do it as a full loop. That is the south loop.